हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्किल डेक चैनल माय नेम इज रिच आई एम बैक अगेन विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मार्कअप एनालिसिस यस यू हैव बीन कमेंटिंग एंड आस्किंग मी टू रिकॉर्ड द वीडियो ऑन मार्कअप एनालिसिस सो हियर आई एम विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दैट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न वट इज द यूज केस ऑफ मार्कअप एनालिसिस इन वॉट टाइप ऑफ कंपनीज आई कैन यूज एंड हाउ इट कैन हेल्प यू विद द मैन पावर प्लानिंग I hope you are already enjoying the videos on the manpower planning series and it is going to be the last video for that and after that I will be creating the rest of the videos as per your comments I have received so keep commenting and let me know what are the other topics you want me to record I'm waiting for your comments and it give me an idea to record on the different topics of the human resources also uh, after watching this video if you have not watched the previous videos because it's a related series I'm adding the links in the description box for your use case If you are new to the channel subscribe the channel keep commenting hit like share the channel with the hr fraternity now it's the time to start learning let's go and let's start learning about markov analysis markov analysis means seeing the trend of the organization for the previous 2 3 years and then decide in a one designation how many p how much percentage of people are staying I hope till here we are good. Should I move to Marka? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, ma'am. I just have a query. Will we get an assignment? You know, to practice this. Yes, you will get an assignment. Okay. I'll give you a question. You have to solve. Okay. Now let's talk about Marka analysis. let's say in that particular department of i have a hr executive hr senior hr executive hr head hr director now in the rows also i'll write the same designation now what you have to do the year when you are doing the manpower planning let's say 2024 from that year just go back to the previous 2 to 3 years means 2021 this is 2021 data set i have to take and this is 2024 now go back to 2021 and see on 2021 how many people were there as hr executive senior hr executive hr head hr director if you are doing the markup for the hr department so let's say it was 100 it was 50 30 10 2021 any month you can take so if you are taking january 2021 here here also you will take january 2024 any month but it has to be the same 2 3 years back even you can take for 2022 if you don't have a data set for 2021 now in january 2021 if there were 100 people out of those 100 how many got exit and how many were promoted that we have to see after 2021 there will be hiring more people would have joined but we will not see that we will only see out of these only 100 how many are still with the company at what designation that is the rule of markov analysis So let's say if there were hundred people, twenty were ex exit. So how many we are left with? Eighty. Eighty. And twenty got promoted. How many we are left with? Sixty. Sixty. Correct. Like that for each designation you have done. Let's say it's ten exit, one promotion. So we are here with thirty nine. correct right can we do for all the another designations so later we what we will do we'll sum it off so ma'am markov gives the existing data like from the existing data it gives the analysis of that anjana we are taking the previous data set and we are trying to understand how many percentage of people are still with us at what designation okay from that year from that year 
after that might be more people would have joined the company we are not going to take them into consideration okay so in 2021 if 100 people were there as a hr executive out of that how many have exit and how many have been promoted are you getting my point yes so if 60 is still on the designation so how much percentage is it 60% correct is it yes. above 100% right 59 divided by 15 into 100 above 100% correct? correct so do you have a probability now of each designation agree agree yes no no ma'am could you just repeat it once again please <coughs> sorry Hmm. Till what it is clear, guys. Tell me. I'll repeat from there. From beginning, you want me to repeat, Marka? No, ma'am. Uh, while you're just calculating this, like you have this probability chart. It. Yeah. So this data set from where I got, I got it from my HRIS. Yes. My internal software, like in twenty twenty one, in that particular designation, how many people were there? Correct. Right. Yes, ma'am. And now we have to see the people I they uh, were who were there. From them, how many are exits and how many are still in that particular designation? There are chances that more people would have joined. That I will not take into consideration. सिर्फ ये सौ लोगों में से कितने अभी भी मेरे पास हैं. Out of these only hundred, how many still are within the company? Is the question to be solved. So I have to see out of these hundred, how many are exits, how many are promoted or transfers. So let's say twenty are exit or thirty are exit. So how many we are? I'm left with twenty, and with? probably that could have also been what promoted, shifted, right? So if it is promoted to what designation, it's promoted. Add it here. So let's say this person is promoted to HR head. Two people. So here I'm left with sixty-eight, and eight people are promoted to senior HR. So I'm left with sixty. Sixty. Like that, can I do it for each designation? Yes. Clear now. Yeah. Now, how you will calculate the probability? Sixty divided by how many were there into hundred. So how much percentage? Sixty. Sixty. Like that for the another designation. Now you will see out of fifty, twenty are left. I am left with thirty. So thirty-eight, thirty plus eight, thirty-eight divided by fifty into hundred. Correct. Correct. Easy guys, have we understood what is markup? Yeah. For each department, I need to do the markup so that I come to know in that particular department what is the probability of the people staying in that particular designation. Now, once you have the probability, let's say for this designation, probability is sixty percent. So that means what is the current workforce you have? Usme se kitne log rehne wale hain? Sixty percent. Sirf sixty percent log hi rehne wale hain aage chalke. Aap abhi agar dekhoge fifty five log hain. You need sixty. You will say, okay, I need more only five people to hire. Correct? No, but we'll. But actually, when the year will end, the probability is going to be only. How many people is going to stay? Sixty percent. So, what is the backup? Five is the immediate hiring. So, what is the backup you need to create? Twenty-seven. Clear, guys. Have we understood? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Are we good? What is a markup analysis? So when you do direct, uh, direct department planning, you have to go with the markup analysis. I always suggest markup analysis, anyways, for every whether you do a direct company planning or a department planning, markup analysis has to be there to give you a rough idea how the people are moving in your organization, so that you can always be ready with a backup hiring plan. 